What is up everybody, Ori here, and we're back with some more Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. Today we're going to be doing the Spiral Run, which I have teased quite a few times. Uh, I've never actually done it though. We're going to run the NUC-17, we're going to run them on Recon to get the light weapons. And so, we're going to run, basically what we're going to do is we're going to get the NUC-17, and we're going to get the Fire Burster. Both of these guns are, they're basically identical. Except they kind of shoot in opposite directions. One gun's going to shoot in four directions, and then the other one's going to shoot in, like, a perpendicular horizontal direction. They do the exact same thing. Uh, they're going to have pretty much the exact same overclocks. Uh, but what we're going to try to do is we're going to get them both to level 18, and we're going to get the spiral upgrade on both of them. It's a pretty popular build. I'm sure you've probably seen it. If you haven't, then... You need to watch more Deep Rock videos because it's probably one of the, I don't know, it's kind of one of the flashier, bigger, popular builds that a lot of people like doing. Um, I don't know why I haven't done it yet. I've done builds that have been very close or similar to it, but I've never actually done it. Hazard 5, though, is definitely going to make this a little bit challenging. Um, the build itself, I think, is strong. It's a strong build. Uh, I'm pretty confident it can clear Hazard 5. However, what's going to make it tough is we're going to be very reliant on getting a piercing modification on one of our weapons. Uh, and now I have to do rerolls too. So luckily we have a lot of gold. Hopefully I see the, I, the fire burster has to be second. Okay, so there are the burst fire. Wasted a decent amount of gold there, but we still got it. All right, let's do, I'm going to do the HP. Uh, I'm not going to take that movement speed debuff because you'll see, you'll see kind of why. Um, what's going to happen here on the first floor is we're going to have very, very little DPS. This build is going to start off slow, but it's going to finish strong, especially if we get a piercing mod. Uh, so what we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up circling around the mobs for quite a bit in, on this. Um, let's see. Let's do the kinetic damage. Um, for this final, when we get to the final elite, we're going to be circling around them a lot. And I mean a lot. We're probably going to get to level 30. We're going to we're gonna be here for a while because we're not going to be able to kill the boss. Um, but that's almost going to be good for us because, again, we're, gonna, we're probably going to get to level 30. We're going to rack up a lot of XP. We're going to hopefully get some good overclocks for our weapons. And then once going from there, if we can get the piercing modifications, the piercing overclocks, we should be pretty strong. And then we should be able to clear hazard five because of it. Um, this isn't the best layout for us. I do want to clear most of this rock because that's what we're going to need to do to be able to circle around them efficiently. Uh, there is a nice big open area here. We just need to clear it out. So this chunk right here, I need to work on clearing. So here comes the elite. So there's going to be two of them because we're playing on hazard five. Let's get the minerals. All right, let's do the damage. Clear out this in case we need the health. But we're basically just going to be in farming mode right now um, until we until we finally get enough DPS to uh, kill this boss. Let's do. I'm gonna getting the overclock is literally the most important thing right now. We have to get that piercing overclock. Uh, it's hard to do. It's really hard to do hazard five if you don't get the pierce. And what makes this really hard is this gun has way too many overclocks. Way too many. Okay, we're going to take the clip size here. Because I want... It's hard to keep these guns kinetic, too, because... Because they have... Sometimes you'll see both fire and cold. 
modifications for your overclock, so you can't even keep it. Um, unless you salvage it. You could just salvage your overclock. I would prefer not to do that, but... Alright, let's do the crit damage. This is why we clear out the area, see how easy it is to, to farm these guys and just run around and get the XP. Uh, eventually though we are gonna we are gonna need to kill these guys. Sorry, little bug. Your own fault for being full of Our next level up's gonna be our weapon. Uh I'll take the M1000 Classic or Boomstick. Um we'll take the M1000 Classic. The M1000 will be good at targeting the elites and things like that. Threat level increasing. All right, I am going to do this guy. I know it's not the most efficient. You're yeah. seen. Thank you. OK, so we're going to do 30 percent damage, less fire rate. But now we have piercing shots. Uh, now we should be able to to kind of clear out these guys a lot easier. Let's do that XP game, the legendary. Do damage with kinetic. Let's do fire Don't hang around forever, miner. These bosses aren't your friends. It's calling to me. You don't see these every day. All right, we'll do the HP here. So you can see we're kind of thinning the horde a little bit here. All right, let's do that movement speed. Let's actually see if we can... Okay, what do we want to do here? Um... This one's a tough one because I would prefer the boomstick, I think, for my next gun. And I kind of want it to keep everything kinetic. I don't want the Sabata, though. And I don't know if I want to reroll. So now I'm torn, I guess, between these two. I really do like the bug taser. And if we're not going to keep with a kinetic build, I think I take that since I've already ha gotten the M1000 and the bug taper taser will increase our crit abilities. So I think that's the gun to take here. All right, let's do damage on you. All right, let's do, I'm gonna keep doing these guns mostly. See, this is why I want to keep everything kinetic. They got your sense now. Threat level increased. Deployment up, straight. Let's do that, Lincoln Steve. The bugs are going insane. Move, move, move. All right, we're gonna. There's. Let's see. Both of the elites are still up. They're almost dead, though. Let's do that crit chance. 
just make sure our guns are hitting these guys now and just finish them off. Get the lead out. Do the damage. Do that. That was a good move, Steve. Quotas satisfied. The drop pod is arriving. Get moving. It won't hang around. All right, so that was a pretty good floor. Um, you can see it, it pretty much went exactly as I said it would. Um, we got to we got to level thirty three. We took a long time to kill the to kill the boss, uh, but you know we got what we wanted. We got it one of the pier scenes, um, which is exactly what we needed. And now we're level 34, 34 going into the second floor. Let's do the. We didn't get a lot of resources, and I, I spent a lot too. So let's do. I guess we'll just do this guy, because let's try to get these guys overclocked more. Which one got my pierce? Is it this one, right? The high caliber rounds? So my burst fire has the pierce? So I'm going to kind of try to prioritize my burst fire then, uh, but let's take the XP gain. Since the burst fire has the pierce, that's going to be more important, right? Um, I wish you could see. I'm pretty sure high caliber. Yeah, because bigger mags, they, this one just got the the hundred um, the hundred percent rounds. Okay, we're going to kind of do the same thing here because we're probably going to take a while to kill the boss. But let's also make sure we're farming resources. Oh, come on, mine that guy. How much do you take? Alright, where was it? Must be up top somewhere. I'm not going to put a ton of points. It's basically with the M1000 Classic it, and even the Bug Zapper, uh, it's going to be you get upgraded if there's if you're the best option. If you're equal to one of the other weapons, I'm going to pick I'm going to pick the Nuck or the Burst Fire. Um, let's actually go find where that supply drop was. Yes, please. Objective completed. Excellent job. Am I blind? Did I just not see the supply drop? Gotta be top right then, huh? Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna use it to kill the boss. I actually don't want to kill the boss yet. Uh, but let's clear this out. Basically gonna do the same thing we did last floor. Uh, if I'm struggling to kill the boss, then maybe we'll come back in and drop it, but for the most part, we're going to try to farm here. And give me a, yeah, give me a, I need a loop in. Because we need to get these guys going in a, 
We need to gather them all up, you know? We need to to hoard them up, get them in a circle, a and then just circle around them and just farm that XP for a little while. Oh, there's a magnet. Oh. <laughs> I wanted... Man, now there's a lot of things I need to focus on getting here. I need to get that supply drop still, and now I need to make sure I get this magnet. But I don't want to get the magnet yet, you know? I kind of want to wait a little bit to get this magnet. Alright, let's do the damage. Let's kind of circle these guys down a little bit, get them to where I want them to be. Start doing the weapon. Sure, why not? All right, let's do. Let's do this guy and hope that we get piercing on him too. No, okay. Let's do. Should we do cold on this guy? No, because we have so much kinetic damage. Let's make sure we keep. I think I got like three kinetic upgrades. Okay, let's see if I can get this supply drop without having to kill this boss. I think I can just kind of keep him on the outside, hopefully. Alright, uh, we're definitely going to do the crit damage. I love how fast we are when we dodge. This is why I wanted to get the magnet last, because there's all that XP is going to be sitting up there. Okay, we're going to do the fire ray and reload speed. I think we killed, yeah, there's only one elite left, so we can hang out here a bit and try to just kind of farm XP until we die. Or until <laughs> until he dies, not until we die. I would prefer not to farm XP until I die. Alright. The there you go. Alright, let's overclock you and then I'm oh man. Not what I want it. Um I guess we'll do the clip size again. Cause again, I have all that kinetic. I'm gonna have all that kinetic damage built into this. I don't wanna switch it out. Uh, let's get this Nitra. Maybe we get hit once or twice here. Maybe not. We're so quick. Yeah, let's go. Oh, we got the dodge too. And we got the extra XP. Let's do you. Cool. Okay, so we're really going to focus on this guy because we want to get him to the spiral attack now. So I want to put all my points into him because he has the piercing. Um, not as a, I know we want to get the spiral, but I want to get the spiral on the burst fire first. More options. I want it. So I'm going to invest all my points into him. Okay, so now we don't have enough to do actual upgrades, so I guess we'll just buy what we see available to us. Just the upgrade I was looking for. So now hopefully by the end of this floor we can get um we can get our burst fire to level 18 and get it doing the spiral attack. And it's going to have the pierce, so that'll be really... That'll make it really good for us. Oh, I found some more, Kai. Let's get the last of this Morkai, and that'll complete the quest. Well, actually, let's go over here because Nitra's right here too. And kind of do both. Oh, that wasn't enough. We were one short. Okay, that's it. 
Well done, you got them all. I like that we got so many good uh, movement speed buffs too. <laughs> the movement speed buffs are really, really good for this because since you're circling around so much, it, it's actually really good. Okay, we'll do the crit damage. Especially since we got that uh, uh, that crit. Um... Man, this is going to take forever to form this. I hate it when the Morkite is right here. That actually worked out pretty well because that guy exploded. Did we not? Okay, we did clear. Okay, let's do. I guess we'll do. Be a little speed on you. Yeah, I'm not gonna take the. Or do I? Do I want to take the debuff movement speed? Just because I have so much bonus movement speed that. Because I'm not really... Yeah, sure, let's do that. I feel like we're still going to be pretty fast. Swarm detected. Get ready. They'll be with you shortly. Alright, let's go get out of here and try to get some more resources around the map. You can see we're starting to do a lot better in the DPS department. We're killing these guys a little bit quicker. Um, I was hoping to get our overclock by the end of this floor, so we'll see. And I hate how long these guys take. We'll see how long. Uh, see how long we can get. Keep our rotation going here. I guess I can't hang hang around too much though. Just trying to get those loot bugs because that's gonna. It's gonna mean we're targeting the boss. Oh, let's get this gold. Oh man. Oh, there's a magnet. Yes. I just saw that right now. Um, yeah, we're going to have to loop around and go get that. <laughs> it's it's going to be in the worst spot, though, at least based on the direction I'm heading. Uh, one boss is pretty much dead. The other one is he's close. So that might be fine. Oh, I'm going to get stuck there, huh? Let's not get stuck. Okay, we're gonna hang out over here. I'm gonna do my rotation like around here. It's not the best area, but I'm gonna try to do my rotation right here. Legendary armor, okay. Um, yep, do you? See, that first floor is just so crucial for us to, to farm all that XP. It's so good, because we basically got 30 levels from that. Um... Let's do this because we're not. We're. I think we're a little bit behind on our weapons, actually. So let's make sure we're. Let's make sure by the end of this fourth floor we have spiral on at least one of them. Um, not the weapons I want it, but I will do you. And then let's re-roll. I don't want to re-roll too much, but I'm gonna take the. Show me more. Okay. Let's get... I guess we'll get you. <laughs> I, I would have preferred the other one first, but that's not how the game goes sometimes, so... 
At least we got one of them, and now we're really we're only two levels away from getting the last one to to the spiral. So now you can see it's shooting in the spiral. Um, it's not going to be as good as the burst fire because it's not piercing. The piercing is going to be really good on the burst fire. But this is how we're going to win the game. We're going to we're going to be able to kill all the mobs relatively easily. And then it's basically just a waiting game to kill the bosses. That's basically how this build works, um, especially once we get this other guy overclocked. I want to clear out this area again so we can kind of get our farming rotation again, too. Just lit up like a Christmas tree. We got a swarm incoming. Jade is here. Let's get the middle. You ugly son of a bitch. That actually hit me. Let's clear out this swarm a little bit. Oh yes, a magnet again. Man, it's almost like they up they up the magnet rate just for us this run. Yeah, that's two for the quest. Okay, well I guess we have to do you for the fire rate. Prepare to fight for your life. A big swarm is approaching. Let's do, I'm not going to do this one. Um, I'm not going to do the minus gold either. So I guess we'll do speed buff. Wait, it was the speed buff right now. <laughs> I don't even, it's almost, okay. We get, yeah, it was the speed buff. Um, let's do you. Now we're just going to be in um, farming mode. Boom, baby. Uh, automatically, I don't care what upgrades are available. If I see the option to overclock this burst fire, I'm taking it. I don't care if I'm passing up on a legendary or what. I'm actually going to reroll. I hate having to waste this much gold. There we go. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Says it's time to kill. Sorry, it's it's too important to get that right here. It's just it's way too important to pass up on this. It was it was totally worth it to reroll right there. I I had to get it. I had to get it. Go to hell. Objective completed, miner. Get to the drop pod before it heads back to orbit. Now we're just gonna shred everything. And then that's basically gonna be the the deal for the final floor. Um. Let's see. I got it. We're going to clear out the area, just like we've been doing on all the other floors. Um, and then we're basically going to be able to shred all these all these mobs relatively easily. And then we'll just wait until we kill the boss. That's pretty much what, that's how this last floor is going to go. 
We're level 63, which is pretty good. Uh, let's... Wow, this is all my gold, though. I guess that's okay, because there's actually upgrades here for us to do, too. We're going to do the 18 and the 18. Then let's do it. Okay, so I don't have anything... We don't have a crit chance with the nitro or the gold. So gold's really only going to be useful for re-rolling at this point. We'll farm a little bit, but I'm not going to really, you know, I'm not going to heavily try to get it. Okay, let's top out our HP and let's... What I need to do right now is I need to clear an area again. So we're going to clear out this big area right here by this egg. I mean, there is a chance we could get something from the supply drop, too. There's going to be one more supply drop. See, we're just going to shred all these mobs. Once we clear out the area, it's so much easier to do it. It's hard to do it when there's too much in the way, you know? That's why we clear it out. I don't think this build, this build might do okay on Magma Core. I don't think you could do this. I don't know if you could do this on, um, on Hollow Bow, though. Because the spiral attack's not as useful when there's so many vines and stuff blocking your path. Makes it a lot harder. But you can see most of the mobs, they're not even really getting close to me anymore because we're... As long as we have an open area, we're pretty much killing them before they even get to us. Uh, so it's really just the boss. That's why I wanted to get the knockback on the M1000, so... It works really well for keeping the boss away from us. <laughs> while letting me do... Le letting me know what I need... Letting me do what I need to do here. So you see how all those... How all of them just died? It's such a good build. It's so dependent, though. It's so dependent on on getting that um, piercing, though. If you don't get the piercing, it doesn't work. It doesn't work nearly as well. I don't care. About, oh, I guess we kill that boss. I was gonna say I don't really care about. All right, I don't. I guess I could take this, but I'm just trying to think. I think I can take the movement speed to buff. I think that's fine. I don't need it, but I think I can do it because this should be relatively easy. We're going to have such a clear open area. Um, I'm going to be able to maneuver around the boss relatively easily. I'm not really worried about it, so the damage is fine. We'll take the extra damage. I don't I can take the movement speed to buff. The gold wasn't going to last very long anyways. I always, I kind of thought you just needed, I thought if you, even if you didn't have gold, uh, it would still work, but have confirmed that. <laughs> you do need 10 gold to get the buff. All right, so what are our stats? We have 77% crit chance, about 400 crit damage, 65% uh, movement speed, 380 health. Uh, 137% pickup radius, and that's really going to be it. Um, the boss is going to... I don't know how quick the boss is going to die here, but he's going to die. That's that's all, you, <laughs> that's all you need to know. This is this is a dub in my book. We're going to... This is going to be an easy win from here. All right, let's do the uh, critical chance. The little mobs aren't even going to get to us because we're going to have so much. Um, we're going to have a lot of, you know, just I don't I don't even know what you want to call it. We're going to have so much just damage everywhere on the map. Um, <laughs> they're not they're not even going to get close to us. Like this is, this is it. It's going to be it's an easy clear from here on out. So like all of them, they just die. Then we just circle around the boss until he dies. Easy wins. Well, I got 
Again, this is the, this is a phenomenal build. It's a great build. It's it works really well. Um, I think we got really we got really good RNG with what we needed to get. Uh, we got the piercing. We got. I kind of got the weapons I wanted. I think I would have liked the boomstick, but the bug zapper is fine too. Uh, as long as I get the M1000 Classic, that's good. I would have preferred the knockback on that to make it kind of a perfect run. But yeah, really solid. Really, really good run. 44 million damage. 26 million on our burst fire. This is why I wanted to get this guy upgraded the most because he had the piercing. So of course he's going to do like triple the damage of the Nux 17. Yeah, um, good run. Uh, the damage, the pickled nitra at the end, like I said, worked out perfect for us because I knew we were going to clear it. So I was okay taking that speed debuff and then just getting the extra damage. So yeah, uh, it, this run, I would say, almost went perfect. It was almost the perfect run for what we wanted to get. I got the burst fire, second gun. We got the Nux 17. We got both of them overclocked by the final floor. Uh, yeah, I, I I'm very happy with this run. I think it was a I think it was a very solid run. It it's took me a couple tries to get it because it, it is tough because you need the piercing. The piercing is absolutely crucial. I, I think if you don't get the piercing, it makes this run 10 times harder. Um, the piercing definitely makes it it tough because you saw how long it took us to kill on the first floor. Um, once you get that piercing, it's it's a breeze. It's a breeze. You really need it. And then, yeah, I think you're okay building whatever you want. I like to keep things kinetic for this build, though, uh, so I can just stack up all the kinetic damage. Um, yeah, uh, that's really it. it was, that was a good run. That was a very, that was a very, very successful run. And we cleared Hazard Five, uh, the hardest difficulty in the game. Not the hardest map, because again, I don't think this, I don't think this build works on all the maps, especially Hollow Bow. I don't. I don't know. I, I would love to try it, but I think it works best in this one because you saw how at the end of the map I was clearing the area so we can circle around and just farm that XP and you need the you need clear area to do to benefit the weapon the most because it's shooting everywhere. You don't want walls blocking it. So yeah, that's gonna be it. Um thank you so much for watching if you enjoy these videos please like please subscribe all that fun stuff i love doing these type of videos for you so the more engagement we get the more i'll keep doing them uh yeah and that's gonna be it thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a great rest of your day